what's going on. I got a trick here I'm going to try doing. I haven't done it before, but I saw it on Hot Rod Garage where you take your factory engine mounts. These are some new ones. They were 10 bucks a piece at Napa. And you take 3M window weld. Give you the 3M part number. 08609 and basically you just fill up the inside of it with I taped off the back with some Gorilla Tape and it's basically supposed to stiffen your bushings and give you something more like a poly mount bushing without paying the price for them so I, mean, I guess I could have afforded better engine mounts but might as well give it a shot here it's probably going to suck doing it by hand well, of course it's cold Oh, no way. Part store caught on. Five bucks and it just broke. No fucking way. Oh, that sucks. I just bought this too because I knew I wouldn't be able to find mine. Oh, son of a bitch. Hey, good thing I know how to weld. fixed it, but I fucking welded it upside down. This part's supposed to be like that, but well, it'll probably work. Fucking shop works. Garbage. Oh, this thing's fucking She's been good. Well, the wall hasn't broken yet. Move the back a little bit. This is the biggest piece of shit I have ever used. Maybe it's because I welded it upside down. Alright, new plan. Couldn't find my caulk gun. I went and sat it in front of my heater for like 10 minutes and it melted the tip to hopefully make it blow out a little better. So I'm going to try it without the tip and see how it does. And I said fuck the tape because I ain't really doing nothing.
running into a few little problems. Um, nothing too crazy. I don't think I can work out though. I have it lined up on the transmission, um, but I don't have a torque converter or flex plate on it or nothing. I'm just doing it now because I want to get this turbo stuff set up because I have a feeling this is going to take me a little while. My biggest problem here is get this converter set down. tight right here I don't have very much room I got maybe five inches the radiator is not a big deal I'm gonna take that out and probably move it forward get a different one put it in an angle whatever but trying to get this back around I think I'm gonna actually have to short this turbo header about an inch or two to get it right back here and then that should give me enough clearance to where I can get 90 sharp right off of it and you get the other pipe in here and wire it back together to get back down here to the turbo that I should be able to have set in there just like that clock differently and I don't care if I have to this, I just realized these are plastic inner fenders so I could just take those out and build some sheet metal ones I think that'd be a little cooler anyway and having fucking plastic ones. I was kind of surprised on that. Well, it's fucking cracked and shit anyway. And I'll fucking take those out. But yeah, finally, it's in. Hopefully next weekend I can get my pipe bender and start bending up some pipe here and get this thing going. Start making my turbo set up. I did order, uh, I'm wanting to mill in a lathe really bad. Um, I don't really have a cash for them right now, but I looked and found that I can get a milling attachment, if they call it an XY vice, for my uh, uh, hydro press. And basically, it just moves you around like a mill would, and you put a milling bit in your drill press, and you're pretty much good to go. That's all I got for today. I'm tired. It's Sunday. It's the afternoon. It's 3 30. And it's cold. So, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more. Happy I finally got this in here. I've been putting it off for a while, but now that's in here, I'm pretty happy. Time to start getting some shit done. Subscribe.